master oneself is to master one's mind, body, and spirit. They say a warrior is the twofold ways of pen and sword. To devote your life to a set of moral values, to seek calmness in the mind, and the mastery of the way of the sword. This is Bushido, the way of the warrior, and this is Ronin. I was born on a cold cement floor in Saigon. My mother shielded my body from incoming artillery fire and more my birth. At this stage of the war, you know, American troops had left Vietnam and this left a devastating impact on the people of South Vietnam. At three years old, my family and I, we escaped on an overstuffed wooden fishing boat and we made our way into Malaysia where the Malaysian Coast Guard forcefully stopped our boats. They, they roped us, they pulled us back out into the ocean shot our motor, cut the lines, and they left us there to die. You know, what was a short trip from Vietnam into Malaysia, which was a couple days, uh, turned out to be we were stranded out there for 30 days. And then, you know, a miracle transpired. There was a Russian supply boat that was exiting out of Vietnam, and they had two decisions when they saw us. They had two decisions. They can look at us as the enemy, but this crew chose humanity. And they saved us. They provided medical aid to us, they gave us food and water, you know, and they took us to Indonesian um, refugee camp. And somehow we, we survived there for a year and a half. You know, eventually we made it to America and I can tell you, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, man. We were not accepted. You know, it was a lot of hate, man, a lot of discrimination. I got picked on, beaten in school for looking different. We were poor. It wasn't easy. So eventually, you know, we, we continued to work hard. We went to school, continued, and 11 years old, my uncle was driving me to Dairy Queen one time, and he, he said something to me that I'll never forget. He asked me, do you want to be a commando today? He said, too, you know, when your bones ache, when people doubt at you, pick on you, when they spit in your face and flick you off, and say, you don't belong here, and you're hurting and you're feeling sorry for yourself, you need to ask yourself, do you want to be a commando today? See, the thing is, from eight to 11, I lived in this regimented life of the Special Forces. My stepfather was Special Forces, my uncle was Special Forces, his teammates all came, so I knew the Green Beret mission. The freed oppressed, the freed enslaved. I knew that that was the way. So at 18, I enlisted in the military, but back then there was no direct entry program. You just didn't get into the Special Forces. So when I first enlisted in the military, I, I was an 82nd paratrooper, and I went to a long range reconnaissance team. When I made the rank finally, at 21 years old, I was uh, on the Special Forces A team, forward station in Okinawa, Japan. I did 18 years as a Special Forces Green Beret. I traveled around 27 countries fighting and freeing those oppressed. It wasn't until after I retired from the military after 23 years of service was when I reached my, my lowest point. I had no purpose and I was heavily addicted to painkillers. I was sitting in a dark house one morning. I was staring at a TV that was off, had a blanket wrapped around me. I wanted to quit in life. I was just having a really bad day. And somehow a voice told me to get up. And I walked around my house and somehow I ended up in front of my bookcase and I reached in and I pulled out a book that I haven't read in years since I was 13. It was the Book of Five Rings. And there was one passage that Masashi said, all your love, all your compassion, everything is within, look nowhere else. See, I found that answer when I was 11 years old, but somehow I lost my way. And I realized that at that moment, and that was the seed for change. And I dump all the, the opiates. I worked hard every day. I built discipline to try to establish this life of peace. Through finding my peace and, and developing myself and then through discipline, I became Ronin. And now my wife and I, we travel all through the United States, giving back to communities, helping out, you know, our, our law enforcement, training law-abiding citizens so they can protect and defend their homes because that's the love of my country. And it was through this discipline that I mastered my mind, my body, and my spirit. 
and was through my pain and suffering was when I found purpose. And purpose was what made me Ronin.